What's going on everybody? Z here and welcome back to some Astroneer. So I need to do a preface. I recorded an hour and a half long episode of Astroneer. It was great. It was fantastic. However, being the amazing Windows machine I have, it updated, changed some audio preferences. So no uh, game audio got caught in this entire episode. So I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to fill it with some background music. I hope you guys enjoy. There's not going to be any like little clicking sound effects and things like that, but I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to do what I can. But I, uh, yeah, I was, I was super mad, but it's like it's an hour and a half long Astroneer episode. I could not just not have it come out. So, uh, yes, hopefully you like it. Hopefully you enjoy. And let's just go ahead and get right on into it. I had an idea, I had a plan, I had a thought, this is my thought, this is my plan, this is my idea. If you guys like this episode, don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. So, this is the save we're currently on. This is the rover update from scratch. This is my previous save, where we went to the moon, we did a little live streaming, we were gonna blow up the moon, it didn't happen because it's just, honestly, it's a lot of work and a lot of time that I just don't really have. 100% uh, honest, that's why. So, I figured we wanted to build a base around um, the entire Baron. So I was like, well, I'm gonna need a lot of copper for that. Well, guess what? This planet that I'm on currently has a ton of aluminum, which can be traded for copper. So I don't know how the save is gonna work. This is a previous save. I'm hoping it'll work. Okay, as you can see, we have a boatload of aluminum, which means we can have a boatload of copper. Also, I could just take the shuttle back and we could run back and uh, grab all of that coppery goodness that we have back in our other base. What's our current bytes at right now? I'm just curious, 94,000 bytes. So this is not the save we're currently on, so I'm kind of jumping around a little bit, but I'm doing this for the sake of our entertainment. We're doing this for the sake because people want to see a, a thing that reaches all the way around the planet. So this is my thought anyways. Um, well, this is my thought. Okay, we want... Um, Malachite. So it's a two, it's a one for one swap if you have the refined resource versus if you have the like the raw resource. So I give it, that should give us a, it does, it gives us a, okay. So we can send that guy off, show him, see you later, and it'll come back with eight, uh, it'll come back with eight copper ore on it, or uh, Malachite. So I can't even take this off of here. Can I, why can't I take that off there? Oh, it's because it's half, it's like halfway done. All right. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to smelt it, though. <laughs> I'm going to have to smelt it. Um, so, this is my plan. This is my plan. This is my plan. My plan is that if we want to do the whole thing around the... You know, these are tidally locked. Somebody said that, and I didn't even think about it in my other episode. I was like, oh, we're going to use this bubble. These planets are tidally locked. Tidally locked. That means that this planet's always going to be in the same... Like, in, in view of this... Of, of terrain right here right now so that's a thing that's a thing but uh, okay you know what I don't think we're gonna do this I think we're just gonna go and we're gonna go grab the uh, the copper ore that we have I think that'll work a little bit better do I have a printer I do have a printer so we will we'll literally be printing them just as fast as we can make them uh, let's grab these off of here perfect like so I do apologize for swap around like this um, but I yeah, some people really wanted to see the whole like base all the way around the thing and I was like you know what let's do it but then I was like you know what this is I, this is my self conversation I had with myself um, that's a lot of copper that's a lot of copper I have a lot of copper already so on this safe so I figured let's use it we didn't do anything with it anyways um, you know I can definitely notice the performance hits like the performance anchor. what is this there's like a load. There's like a whole bunch of cloudage right there. That's that's kind of funny. Um, but the biggest performance hit, like performance increase that I've noticed, is loading into planets. Because before, let's let's do a little demonstration here. Let's do a demonstration. Let's go back to our base. Before, when you land on a planet, it would kind of like stutter a little bit upon landing. You you know what I mean, right? You you know what I'm saying. I don't know what this is. <laughs> what this black bar is. Oh, what is it sensor? It's censoring something. Somebody said a bad word, um, but we're gonna land here. Now let's see if it stutters. I don't think it'll stutter. Do we have any stuttering? Ooh, 
buttery smooth buttery sm oh okay little little teeny tiny stutter there at the end but you know what as much as i have going on in this save i'm completely okay with it all right so i have all oh my gosh i have so much aluminum oh, i don't really have that much malachite or that that much copper Ooh, ooh! you know we could just smelt it down here we could transfer it and smelt it down here we might do that you know what since we're here let's go ahead and get some more astrodium going why not the save is not dead don't worry people if you were worried about the save it's not quite dead yet we are back we're visiting it i'm actually really surprised that it's running as good as it is there's a lot of uh a lot of talk about it like just tearing it apart but uh, what I mean by tearing it apart, I mean like a lot of uh, graphical tearing. So uh, you can see a little bit actually like right here. You can kind of notice that off, off in the distance, but it's not too, too bad to be completely honest. I like it. I like it. All right, let's get these all in here. More strontium. We got to get these strontium going. Perfect. Okay. And then this one. Uh, yeah, 280,000 bytes worth of strontium here. Just in this spot alone. Look at this like save. Like this was a good save. We had a good time here. Oh, it just reminds me of things. Oh, it's so nice, but uh, okay. So let's go ahead and let's condense all our copper. And we're gonna take what we have up there. We can see how far we get and then just go from there. I think, I think that's gonna be the plan. Anyways, any hoozle. But, uh, but yeah, also I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things, so please bear with me. Hopefully I'm not just like rambling on boring you guys. But um, I posted a video, it's a uh, Machiavellian or yeah, Machiavellian. I think it's what it is, Machiavellian. And I absolutely love the game. It's so much fun. I'm having a blast. However, I think, I don't know. I think YouTube is doing its thing where it doesn't necessarily push the videos that I put out unless they're Astroneer because uh, honestly, just the raw viewership of it alone. I mean, the first day it got like 500 views and Astroneer gets like 500 views in the first hour. So if you guys saw it, Leave a comment down below. Just like I'm just I'm really just kind of curious if you guys even saw it there. And if you did and you didn't watch it, that's completely cool. Like I just I'm just curious about the whole YouTube thing. So if you saw it, you chose not to watch it. Cool. Leave a comment. Let me know. I'm just curious if, if, if it's like working, if it's pushing or if it's not pushing. So I it will not hurt my feelings at all. If you saw it and didn't watch it. Absolutely not. Everybody has their thing. So uh, completely cool. With that. I'm just curious. I want to know if that's a if that's a thing. But um. But yeah, so also another reason I think to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button that will, I think, I think that helps push notifications because um, I have a lot of episodes and a lot of series that I try. And if honestly, if episode one doesn't do good, episode one is always the most popular episode you do out of an entire series. It always is, unless it's some big, huge update like Ashenir. Episode ones always do the best and if I do an episode one and it does a horrible Chances are I'm probably not gonna play it again. So if you watched it Awesome, if you enjoyed it great, but if you didn't see it, I'm sorry And if you did see it and just didn't want to watch it, that's completely fine. I'm just curious. So, okay um, We're gonna do some trading. We're gonna have to do trading and you know what we already have we have the uh, the uh, the printer setup or the smelter setup to try that glitch again. I'm almost positive that it does not work, but it's always worth a try. It's always worth a try. Uh, is that it? Am I one short? I'm one short. No. Okay. There we go. Go ahead and trade off. Let's see. We'll see what it gives us. We'll see what it gives us. Well, I know what it's going to give us, but I'm curious if this is going to work. I don't think it will. I'm almost positive everybody said it won't work. Also, everybody's also been commenting that it doesn't work to jump from planet to planet because the planets don't load in until you get in the shuttle and select it and whatnot and what have you. But we're going to try it nonetheless at some point. Um, this episode probably is going to be base building again, but we're going to put solar panels all the way around Baron and hopefully we'll have power 24 seven infinite power. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. And I'm actually kind of curious too, because if I do a loop all the way around, and with extenders, because we have to do extenders, right? And I loop it because extenders have a directional feed, right? They they feed directionally this way. So if they're all feeding one direction, what if we make like a? Oh gosh, what if we make a hyperloop? How cool would that be? Oh my gosh, that'd be so funny. Make like a like a, a hyperloop glitch kind of thing that like accident that loops the power into itself and like generates more power. That'd be that'd be pretty awesome. All right, the glitch does not work. 
Obviously. Obviously. Um, okay, this is Aluminum War. This is definitely Aluminum War. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sure there's already a comment or 12 down below saying I did this. <laughs> saying I did this and I just realized that. So uh, I have to pay a little bit more attention now. <laughs> It's awful. I just, I traded smelted aluminum for non-smelted aluminum. What am I doing with my life? Oh my gosh. Okay. Ladder. I, I want malachite. There we go. That's better. <laughs> oh, it's mistakes like that that just make, make it fun, you know? They just make it fun. So, all right, let's trade that off. Jeez. Alrighty. We got as much copper as we can hold. I have a backpack full. We have a shuttle full. And this is my plan for it because I was thinking, I was like, you know what? We're gonna go around the planet. We're gonna lose oxygen because solar panels don't have oxygen by themselves. Also, shoot. Solar panels can't be placed by themselves. They don't make a platform. Ooh, that's a problem. That's a problem because the small solar panels generate a little platform underneath them. How come the large ones don't? I'm asking the devs. Devs, if you're watching this, I'm talking to you guys. How come the large ones don't generate their own little platform like the small ones do? I feel like they should. I feel like they definitely should. Okay, where's our base? Um, I have a feeling it's associated with that bubble over there. Well, I landed there before. Didn't I put a, I didn't put a habitat down though. Yeah. Oh wait, is this it? Are you it? Is this one? This one? This one? This one? This one? Maybe this one? You? Are you it? I don't know. Oh, I can't see. I think this is it. I think it's it. I think it's my stuff. I think this is it. I can see my stuff. That is so cool. You can actually see your stuff chilling on the planet. <gasps> oh, that's so nice. Anyways, okay. This was, this was my plan. This was my plan to see if this is going to work. Is uh, we're going to build rovers. We're going to have to have, I think I'm going to build two large rovers because we're going to have to have a way to move the solar panels around, you know? That's just a thing. It's going to happen. It has to be a thing. So we have to build a vehicle bay and we have to build um, a platform for the vehicle bay. Wonderful. Let's go with uh, we're going to go with aluminum for platforms because that's just what we have the most of. Uh, platform type D will not work. Type C should work, actually. Type C should work. It should work just fine. All right, we'll go ahead and print that guy. That's going to take forever because there's no power. Wait, where's the power coming from? Wait, where's the power coming from? Oh, we have a wind turbine. Oh, that's so nice. But uh, it's going to be nice because we're going to start this and I can always make more platforms and whatnot as we go. Also, I don't know how many solar panels I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do like this. Is, it's two copper free solar panels. So this is a max of what? one, two, three, four. There's seven on here times eight. What is that? Sixty three. Is that sixty three copper? Divide that in half would be Holy moly, that's a lot. That's like 30 solar panels. <laughs> that's a lot. <gasps> oh, okay. All right. Well, this this might not be that hard then after all. Uh, okay, we need to place this vehicle bay down somewhere. Well, this isn't a vehicle bay. This is just a thing. But anyways, it's not going to be able to go right there because we have to print the vehicle bay. Uh, shwink, 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 shwink. Vehicular bay to aluminum. Oh, I wonder if I have the aluminum for it. <laughs> I do. Just a little hint if you guys didn't know. Um, I want to do something with that. I really do because this is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I really wish they would make a... Okay, so side side note. Um, I watched an Astroneer stream on Mixer. Actually, it wasn't it wasn't their stream. They were on L, um, LFG gameplay or something. I think it was L LFG gameplay. It's like a little... Um, it's like a news, like a gaming news kind of thing. And they were on there, there's chat, they were answering questions and stuff like that. And I asked if there's going to be a super high tier uh, unlockables, like 100,000 byte kind of lock unlockables. So maybe, maybe we will see some sort of, oh gosh, like black hole storage thing. Like that would be amazing. That'd be absolutely amazing if we saw something like that. I would love it. I would love it. Um, okay. Uh, let's build this. Let's put this. What do you get? Get over here. Um, um, come, come, come here. Wait, is this? Oh, that's my hole. Okay, we need to. Uh, I can't cover it. <laughs> um, okay. Let's not have that over there. That's kind of a sketchy place to have that. Uh, we'll just put it right here. That should be enough room, I think. Is there gonna be enough room? 
no, attach, 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 attach. Thank you, okay. We're gonna wanna print the large rover. There's no power currently, which is fine, which is just fine. And it needs aluminum. Oh, dearie me, what will ever will we do? <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I just, I, you know, I'm just the worst. I'm the absolute worst, okay. So, uh, there's no, let me walk, let me walk. Stop it, stop it. Um, no power, waiting for power, okay. So I think we're gonna print two of these because then each one of these can hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven solar panels on this one, eight solar panels on the one that's a tractor and behind, trailer and behind me. Also, we need a seat. We need a regular seat. Um, there it is. Easy peasy. A uh, shrink and a shrink. And, oh darn it, we gotta wait for the, we gotta wait for the power. All right, so I have oh, 19 solar panels made and I figured the medium, um, the little the the little medium platform that only costs one resin. You can fit a, a double guy on there. So we're gonna use those to place the solar panels on, and that's probably why they don't make their own little platform because they're a higher tier things. So this is my plan. Um, I obviously couldn't fit as many as I thought because I forgot these two flip in on both sides, so I lost four uh, like storage slots. But my plan is I want to go all the way out here, and I want to get to this belt. I want to get like semi even with the belt, and probably like right here probably yeah like right here and then I want to just follow the belt that way we're, that's that's what we're gonna do we're gonna follow the belt that way it's gonna be so much fun but um okay let's see um whoa that was a weird little glitch there all right so let's go ahead and let's start this voyage uh hopefully once we get away from the aluminum everything will stop like it it is a little a little a uh, little framey once we get over there towards the aluminum but i have all these solar panels on here so i should have no problems <laughs> with power with driving these things also you know i thought th i thought this was tidally locked it's definitely not it's just really slow it's just really slow so we're gonna start probably right here this is where we're gonna start and we're gonna go this way. We're gonna follow, okay, this this does drive a little wonky with the things on it, but that's all right. So we're gonna go ahead, unpack this guy. Place the solar panel down and then aim it. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. Uh, aim it this way. All right, this is what we're gonna do. Hopefully it works. I have a whole bunch of extenders right here. Uh, I don't know how many, I might do like three in between each one. See how far that gets me, but um, but yeah, we're gonna do a little montage here. I hope you guys enjoy. Sit back, relax, and watch the fun.
Alrighty, so I've officially ran out of copper, I ran out of extensors, I ran out of solar panels and everything. I want to see how close we are. We're gonna finish, it's gonna happen, but I want to bring you back because I'm gonna have to go back to Terrain just so I can get more stuff. More copper. Um, I thought this would be enough to be honest, but uh, I, I misjudged the size of Baron. It's a little bit bigger than I thought. So uh, we're gonna go this way though. And I'm just curious how far away we actually are. Um, I, if we're halfway, if we're like a quarter of the way, I feel like we have a very long way to go still. I'm trying to think if, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're, I think we have a long way to go. Um, I would say we have a very long way to go. I would say we're probably going to have to make a couple more trips. I feel like we're moving so fast. Oh my gosh. We're going to need like at least double the solar panels that we've already used, if not triple. Oh my gosh, it's so far away. I can't even see my little base bubble yet. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I might need to start extending them, put more extenders in between each one. This is crazy. I thought we were so much closer than this. It looks like we're like a quarter of the way there. You gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. There's no way. There's, we're not even like remotely close. Not even a remote possibility. Um, I didn't want to go down there. I don't want to go down there. I don't want to. Ah, uh, let's try it. Why not? Why not? This is absolutely insane. Uh, I guess I didn't realize how big of an undertaking this would be. Hmm. Hmm. This is going to take a lot longer. I still don't even see our base yet. I still don't even see our base yet, and we're so, we're circling the planet right now. Like, this is, oh, we're not even like an eighth of the way. That's insane. Okay, is my base right here? Where the heck is my base? Wait, is that it? That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it, okay. Oh my goodness. This is a long ways away. Base? Yes, okay. Whew. I would say we're a quarter of the way there. So I'm gonna have to go back out. I'm gonna have to get more resources. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get so much more copper. So much more copper. We're gonna need like I think at least another two two solid loads of it before we make this happen. This is this is crazy. Okay. Um well you know what? I think we're going to do this. We're going to need so much more. I think we're going to do this as part one. Part one is now. Part two will be complete. And what I'm going to do between this part and that part is I'm going to grab all the copper. I'm going to start making everything. And we're going to have like everything ready to rock and roll. Um, that's the plan anyways. That's the plan. So. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like. If you didn't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. Um, yeah. That's going to. Okay. I thought we were going to finish this episode. But we're definitely not. That's. That's so much further to go. So uh, yeah, part one complete. Stay tuned for part two, which will be next, um, hopefully. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next episode.